Today marks the start of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's a centuries-old tradition that remembers and honors loved ones who have passed away. Tonight, a memorial is on display outside the county administration building for the second year in a row. It pays special tribute to those who have died of COVID-19. News 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from right outside this memorial. Kelly. Right, and though you know we hear the statistics, uh, we hear the numbers of people when it comes to COVID-19, uh, but when you really see the pictures and you hear the stories of people who have passed away, it certainly puts a different perspective on just how tragic the pandemic has been. One case, um, a woman whose whose mother died, you know, she had to watch from outside uh, of the room, not being able to you know hold her mother's hand, and so it's it's incredibly sad, and and this is a way to to honor her. And sadly, stories like this are all too common. Now, the woman you just heard from, she works in Chair Fletcher's office, and her husband's grandmother died of COVID-19. So her picture is on the steps outside the county building. So many people know someone who's lost someone to the virus. And as you mentioned, this is the second year on Dia de los Muertos that the county put up this memorial. Last year, there were 900 candles for each victim who died of COVID. This year, there are 4,200. And now, besides the photos, the altar includes traditional marigolds and other items of remembrance. Even though this display focuses on COVID victims, today is a day that honors all loved ones who are no longer here. Marissa Ugarte lost her son to a brain tumor back in 2002, and he was just 17 years old. Uh, grieving doesn't go away. You just learn to live with it. And every anniversary, Christmas, Mother's Day, we remember them. But for people who say, oh, he died long ago, that's not so. In our hearts and in our mother's hearts and family's heart, he's still alive and we still miss him. And she says she thinks about uh, she says she thinks about her son every day and she says that's not going to change. Now, besides her, I met another family who was out here, a woman who told me both of her parents were admitted to the hospital for COVID-19 at the same time. Now, her dad recovered from COVID, uh, but sadly, her mom did not and she never left the hospital. Uh, she told me she was just so grateful that she did have a chance to say goodbye.